Hi, I'm Jasmine Morsters, and I did Kathy Blue short film. Very good short film. So my first question to everybody usually is, what was the spark of inspiration that started this? There is so many. I'll try to keep it short. Um, I'll start with the subconscious, because <laughs> that's kind of what the film is about. Um, I think what really sparked the idea for Kathy Blue is just life experiences. Um, like, for example, do you know that feeling when you are that friend who has a lot of advice to give and who knows what's up and who's really willing to help you get better, et cetera, et cetera. And I am that person. I, I have really helpful things to say, but what you don't know is I sit on a bigger pile of questions than everyone. So that kind of, that is Kathy. You know, should we see her in the beginning as a capable therapist, you know, advising her patient, et cetera. And then, you know, <laughs> throughout the film, we discover that she herself has a lot of problems, you know. Uh, and challenges to face. And then, you know, other experiences, just being a storyteller and loving imagination and fantasy. And just, I can, you know, when I was in high school, I just, uh, they hand out the essay, the test, and we'd start to write, and then I'd look out the window, <laughs> and I'd turn back, and two hours had passed, and everyone was like five pages further I writing their problem. thing. And I was like, oh no, I did it again. And that's, we see Kathy going through similar things where you're just, you know, flying off with your fantasies. And um, that that is nice, but it can also be a problem. And uh, lastly, just being me and being around people who are just almost daily faced with the opportunity to face your challenges, face your fears, really look at who you are and who you want to be, or just continue with the flow of denial. You know, like, yeah. this is every day there is an opportunity to do that. Mm -hmm. And the film just kind of ends on that choice. I really hope that the audience, it ends a little abruptly for a reason. I want the audience to take uh, over from that point. And this was your directorial debut, correct? Yes. Right. So, on that note, what was the biggest challenge of all this? Oh, boy. <laughs> there were a couple. Um, I think... One is just letting it go at some point, you know, just for every creative decision, I, I just love to stay in it forever and make yeah. it perfect. Difficult to let it go. Yeah, you, you never get to perfection. But, uh, you know, what is that quote? Don't, what is it? Somebody knows it in here. Don't risk, uh, don't risk losing good in the pursuit of perfection or something, you know. Uh, I, don't I know think we get the idea. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So letting it go, and then one of the biggest challenges was uh, music. You know, um, I had found a song by by a relatively famous band, and I I thought it was perfect for the film, and it took three months or more to just get a no from them. You know, to get yeah. so far as to speak to them to hear no, and then it took another I don't know one two months to. Uh, you know, cast out the net and then find two incredible indie artists. I'm really grateful it happened that way because I wouldn't have found those two if it hadn't been for that. No. And it ended up being better, in my opinion. I, I agree. I, I yeah. love it. It's perfect. It was meant to be that way, and I'm so glad um, that that happened. But, um, yeah, that, that was very frustrating because I just wanted it to be done. <laughs> you know, and it just yeah, wasn't. It's, it's tough to get the rights and stuff like that. So. Yeah. Your film deals with a lot of internal issues, psychological issues and stuff, and it's very interesting the way it's uh, portrayed. My question to you is, what would you like people to take uh, out of the movie when they see it, when they leave the theater? What would you want them to think about? The message yeah. or something you want them to think about? Um, so I've been annoying all the filmmakers at the meet and greets with this question. <laughs> uh, what I do want you to take away uh, when you watch this film is, is that uh, feel free to close your eyes for a moment. Um, <laughs> when you, <g> not <laughs> the cameraman, please. Um, when when you get home tonight, and you're getting ready, and you're just doing your routine like every day, uh, and you stand in front of the mirror, just ask, who do you see? The person that you are, or the person that you want to be? And just let that percolate. You know, what does that mean? And how far, if at all, are those two things apart? And uh, I think there's just so much opportunity for growth in that question. Fascinating. Yeah. So, yeah. That's indeed very interesting. Um, 
Let's talk about the future. Yeah. What do we have in store from your genius mind? Oh boy. <laughs> Thank you. Um, um, well, gosh, many things have happened since. You know, um, Cassie Blue was one of the first projects I ever wrote in having in mind that I will actually produce it before it was always the, that first act that lands in, lands in the drawer. Uh, but ever since, I was asked to uh, write a feature film, my first commissioned uh, gig in writing, right. which was huge and so many learning experiences in that. And it, it's incredibly exciting. And I was asked to come on as a producer. Um, and so we're in development for that. And it's uh, it's a much larger project than Cassie was. Um, I'm not allowed to talk about numbers, but the aim is to have it be one of the films that you see the big poster, you know, on the buildings, and you go to a movie theater like this, and you watch it. So Can you say the name of the? Um, yes, it's called When, and um, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, it's, it's when question mark. I've heard about this project. It sounds very, very interesting. Yeah, thank you. You're it welcome. was very exciting to write. I I went on the journey with all the characters. <laughs> yeah. Now let me ask you a question in German. Möchtest du etwas sagen uh, zu die Leute in Deutschland oder irgendwas in deiner Familie? Yeah. <laughs> Sag was. Um, oh man. Okay, Deutsch. <laughs> have to switch my switch brain. Switch the chip. Yeah. I know it's um, going through. Zu den deutschen uh, Filme machen. Um, gibt nicht auf. Uh, vielleicht gibt es in Deutschland nicht die Möglichkeiten, die ihr uh, ersucht. Um, die Filmindustrie ist manchmal klein oder nicht so entwickelt wie in Amerika. Um, just go for it. Folge deinen Träumen und Die, die Wege machen sich auf, sobald du dich entscheidest, äh, einen Schritt nach vorne zu gehen. Es um, ist möglich. Yes. <laughs> Very What <good>. he said. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else you want to say? Just thank you. And uh, gosh, sure. have yeah, ever sure. have there ever been two nicer uh, film festival makers? I, I've yet to find out. Oh, please. Wonderful. You're welcome.